we're just on our way to a badger who's apparently got his foot or his leg stuck in a piece of rope which they cut, which is a bit of a worry. So we're making all possible speed to get there so we can After try to detangle him. Yards, cross the roundabout. Right. Alright, what do we want? A grasper, a towel and a cage. So what was the story? He was actually stuck in the rope. The rope was up there with him. Oh, right. One of the girls went to use a swing and then obviously... Decided not to. There's a bit of rope still on his paw and his left frock. All right, Bedgewedge. All right, Bedgewedge. All right, baby. A lorry, drop the camera now. Yeah. And put the cage right in front of him. All right, Bedge. All right, Bedge. We'll just ease him in there a little bit. Come on, Bedge. Come on, baby. Let's go the other. That'll be the blooper of the year. I've got him, I've got him fine. Uh, right, let's bring the, the cage down. He has my head cam. I'm going to lift him all around. Here. Ready? That's why you don't go near badgers. I'm fine. No, I wasn't worried about the falling. It was just making sure the badger didn't get to me as I fell. Camera back on. Badger in cage. Simon shaking slightly. Right, little badge. He's probably not in the best of humour. With the rope still tangled around the badger's foot, we rushed her back to the centre for an examination. Constriction wounds can be incredibly dangerous. The loss of circulation, if not treated quickly, can have disastrous consequences for the limb. The rope had done massive damage. Three claws were missing and the other two were only hanging on by a thread. The necrosis in the skin and underlying tissues was so bad that most of the poor was already beyond repair. Despite the odds stacking up against her, we asked several leading specialist veterinary surgeons to see if anything could be done. They all came back with the same answer, that the foot could not be saved. A badger could not survive in the wild with a missing front paw. The loss of mobility and inability to dig would mean that she would never be able to cope. Despite every attempt to save her, we had to conclude that the kindest thing was to put her to sleep. Every life matters here, and we will do everything in our power to get every single patient back to the wild. Sometimes, though, the damage is just too great, and we simply have no other choice. Putting an animal to sleep is always our very last option, but sometimes it is the only option.